Put Coca Cola on the avocado. I don't know what we are hearing here. We are not hearing you well. The thing is echoing. Maybe check your microphone or your body position yourself so that your voice can come out well. And if you have water around you, you can drink water to clear your voice.
Please help us to share and power tap on the screen. Jesus, 
Jesus, our Lord, is crucified. Okay. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. It is the midnight mass of Mid-Holy Week, Wednesday of the Holy Week. And this Midnight Mass will be the last Midnight Mass we are going to have until Easter. The next Mass tomorrow, Holy Thursday, will be evening Mass of the Lord's Supper. We will not have Mass in the morning. We will not have Mass also in the morning of Friday. We will not also have Mass in the morning of Saturday, Holy Saturday. This tridium, we are not going to have midnight Masses. We will have evening programs. Evening programs and those evening programs will come live from the church so that those who can participate we also participate online. Dear friends in Christ, as we celebrate this Mass, we are thanking God for the gifts and the privilege of seeing this day and also of seeing also the last days of this Pascha period. We pray and wish that the three most holy and most quiet and most important days of our life as Christians that come beginning from tomorrow will bring us uncommon graces and favors from God through Jesus Christ our Lord. We continue to pray for the intentions of the Global Midnight Mass family members for all the ministers and also we pray for the intentions of those who made covenant mass booking for the year 2024 and those who book midnight mass for the month of March 2024 that as the month of March runs out that God will surely grant them all their heart desires we also pray that God may bless all the intentions of those of you who are connected with us online at this moment. Those on YouTube sharing, those on TikTok power tapping on the screen and sharing and following, those on Facebook watching and following, that God may grant them all their heart desires. And we pray today for the following who requested for our prayers. We are praying for the intentions of Sister Chinenye O Zoawa for God's blessings of baby boys, twin boys in her family and in her marriage. We also pray for the intentions of Mary Ebere Aro who is thanking God for his blessings in her life and in her family. We continue to pray for God's blessings upon Dr. Charles Iguavo and his family. For God's blessings upon Sister Kate Michael and, his fam and her family. We also pray for the intentions of Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Lovett and the family, that God may grant them their heart desires. We pray for God's blessings upon Sister Chinenye Onyacho and the family. And we pray once more for the intentions of Sister Perpetua Eze and the family who offer this holy mass for their mom, 
who is celebrating her birthday today, begging God to grant her good health of mind and body, bless her, her handwork, and also fill her with unending joy, laughter, and many more years to celebrate in the future. We continue to pray for safe delivery upon all pregnant women, that God may grant also fruit of the womb to all those who are still waiting and uh, hoping on God for children of their own. We do not forget the intentions of all those who are asking God for life partner, that the celebration of these Easter mysteries will bring manifestation of God's favor, marital favor upon their life and upon their families, through Jesus Christ our Lord. May we add our own private intentions. We make all these prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, to prepare ourselves worthily for this holy celebration, let us also call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Let us pray. We also continue to pray for the intentions of Brother Chukwe Buka Nathaniel Ugu. O oh God, who willed your son to submit to, to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, we pray, to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us be seated for the readings. A reading from Prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 to 9a. The Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with a word him that is weary. Morning by morning he wakens, 
He wakes my ear to hear as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ears, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to those who strike me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the ear. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been confounded. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend me? Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. He will declare me guilty. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Presbyterian Psalm, rest on peace. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. Respond. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. It is for you that I suffer things, and shame has covered my face. To my own case, I have become an outcast, a stranger to the children of my mother. See, for your hearts consume me, and thanks against you fall on me. Respond. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. Thanks has broken my heart. Here I am in anguish. I look for solace, and there was none for consolers. Not one could I find. For food they gave me broth. In my taste they gave me vinegar to drink. Respond. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. Then I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. The poor, when they see it, will be proud, and God's seeking heart will revive. The Lord listens to the needy and does not spoil his own in their chains. Respond. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, for a time of your favor. Verse before the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Hear our kings. You alone have you alone have had mercy on our foreheads. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 26 from verse 14 to 25. At that time, one of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I deliver him to you? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that moment, he sought an opportunity to betray him. Now, on the first day of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where will you have us prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, 
go into the city to search a one and they said to him, the teacher says, my time is at hand and I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he sat at table with the twelve disciples. And as they were eating, he said, Truly I said to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful. And began to say to him one after another, Is it I, Lord? He answered, He who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom this Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for him if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Is it I, Master? He said to him, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary and Joseph. I want to begin by appreciating all our gift, gift, TikTok gifters in the persons of Lucy Oloma E.O. 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 Koli. And we also appreciate our sister Gege or Gege. God bless you all for your gifts. May God continue to bless you and grant you your heart desires. Dear friends in Christ, looking at the readings of today, the first reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 15, verse 4 to 9, 9 a precisely, and the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 26, 14 to 25. We can choose from two parts that are laid in front of us. The part of the servant of Yahweh in Isaiah, and also the part of the unfaithful servant in the Gospel, in the person of Judas Iscariot. The servant in Isaiah moves towards his death, which will eventually result in life. Judas sells the body of Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, ultimately resulting in his tragic end. The servant's only, prior the servant's only priority is to do the Father's will at any cost for the salvation of the world. Even when he, Jesus, is fully aware of who it is that will betray him, the choice is left open for us. Whether to play the role of the servant or that of the betrayer, there is even a chance for the betrayer. However, a mistaken repeated, a mistake repeated more than once is already a decision. A denier heralded the thrice crowning crowing of a cock of a cock and an insincerity was like the keys of Judas. Let us, friends in Christ, 
Ask God for the grace to be faithful disciples of Jesus Christ. Like Judas Iscariot, we betray him often when we sin and go and live our lives contrary to the will of God. And also, like Peter, we deny him three times before the cross when we also are so slow to turn him to the right path when we hear a constant injunction and the calling for us to turn back to God. In this Holy Week, there is a clarion call for each and every one of us to meditate on living a righteous life and a holy life. Let us seize this wonderful opportunity to seek the face of God and to become friends of Jesus. And Jesus will surely manifest his ever presence in our lives and in whatever we do. And may God bless his word in our hearts and grant us the heart to be his true disciples. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Augustine, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her holy spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious the grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 
Thank you, Lisa, for your gifts. Thank you, Pray the Rosary, for your gifts. Thank you, Lucy, for your gifts. Thank you, Gage, for your gifts. Thank you, CJ Williams, for your gifts. May the peace and of Christ be upon you all in Jesus' name. Those on TikTok, please power tap on your screen. Those on YouTube, please share. Share the mass and give the channel a like. May God bless you as we continue to promote that through Jesus Christ our Lord. Those on YouTube, as you are sharing and tapping on the screen, the symbol of love rises in the stream. That is a sign of sending out peace and love to the whole world. May what you wish the whole world return to you a million times. In Jesus' name. Those ministers on WhatsApp, we pray, may the peace of Christ reign in your life and in your families. May God bless all of you, and I wish you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only said the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Thank you, all our amazing gifters. Thank you. God bless you. United with our brothers and sisters who are participating in this Mass online, let us say the art of spiritual communion. My Jesus.
Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Think I cannot at this moment receive you sacrament and that come at tree spiritually into my heart. Online participants, let us type come at least spiritually into my heart. Or you can simply say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Continue. I impress you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. I want to thank every one of you for your active participation in today's Midnight Mass. You are all very amazing. And may God grant you all your heart desires. Like I said, we are not going to have Midnight Mass henceforth until Easter morning. But it doesn't mean that we will not have programs on this platform. For tomorrow, which is Holy Thursday, our program will come up in the evening, 10 p.m. Nigerian time. It's going to be Mass of the Lord's Supper. That Mass is going to end before 12 midnight. So 10 p.m., we hope to end before 11.30 p.m. Because of that, my program in the parish here had been slated for 6 p.m. so that we can have it, and then I'll have time again to be with you at 10 p.m. for your own evening mass of the Lord's Supper. In case you are not able to attend in your parish for the for the circumstances around you, for the reason of the circumstances around you. Then on Friday, on Friday, which is um, Good Friday, our program on this platform is going to take place at noon. At noon, it's going to be at noon, that is 12 noon. We will come and do our Stations of the Cross those who are available for it by the reason of their work and the circumstances around them we participate in the Stations of the Cross. We do Stations of the Cross on Friday on this platform by 12 noon. And after that, I'll be having the General Stations of the Cross in the parish with the people of God at 3 p.m. And the other activities follow. So our own will be 12 and all the activities of Good Friday, we are going to do it online at 12. And then 3 p.m. we'll do the physical one. The physical one can still come live, but in case network begins to interrupt because we are going to do it in our house station and not at the parish center, we, we know that we have already done ours at 12. Then on Holy Saturday, Holy Saturday, we are going to have the Mass here at the parish, the Mass of Crossover at 6 p.m. And that day we will have our own online Mass. It will commence exactly 
p.m. The Vigil Mass of the Lord's Supper will commence The Virgin Mass of the Lord's Supper will commence 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So let us take note of that. 10 p.m. on Thursday and 10 p.m. on Holy Saturday. And then 12 noon on Good Friday. Those are our online programs. Please take note of that. 10 p.m. on Holy Thursday, 12 noon on Holy uh, Good Friday, and then 10 p.m. again on holy saturday or holy saturday and after the vigil mass of the lord's supper at 10 pm we are going to have easter midnight mass at 12 midnight 12 midnight friends in christ we are all encouraged to utilize these opportunities of worshiping and being close to god and i believe that he will surely grant us all our heart desires it is a season of grace. It is moment of God's blessing. It is moment of grace. May God never allow any one of you to go empty-handed. It shall be well with all of us in Jesus' name. Then on Saturday after Easter, Saturday after Easter, we shall be going out for our charity outreach. Charity outreach. We will have it in in two batches. The first visit to the motherless baby home and the weak home we take the we take place on Saturday and on Sunday we shall have mass with the prisoners and also feed them with some food. This is our plan for now until there is any other information coming from those quarters that the plan will not go as scheduled that on Saturday after Easter, we shall be with the motherless baby home and also with those at old people home, which we call weak home, around us here. And then on Sunday, we shall be celebrating Mass with the prisoners, after which we offer them cooked food we have prepared for them. We pray that God be bless and grant us all our heart desires through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, to this effect, we want to thank all those who have contributed to us the charity outreach. I had wanted to publish it online, mentioning people's name, but the day I said that we do it, some people sent me messages on my DM suggesting that it will not be necessary as many of them will not want publicity. Glory be to Jesus. So please, if you want to contribute towards our charity outreach to the poor and to old people and also to the prisoners, it is very simple. Just send us a message on our WhatsApp number 080-6770-9801. Just take the number, send us a message that you want to contribute and then you will be guided by our ministry account being communicated to you. Or if you have the ministry account already, please do well to send your own support into the ministry account. Holy Trinity Adoration Ministry, the account number is 1440-6770. The account number of the ministry is 1445-200194, Access Bank, Nigeria. Access Bank. So please, we encourage us to always make contribute our own quarter in order to put a smile on the faces of the poor at Easter. We are all going to celebrate it as one family. I pray that God will bless you as you support this charity outreach through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. 
go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Lisa, thank you for your gifts and all the amazing TikTok gifters today. And God bless all of you abundantly through Christ our Lord. Pray the rosary. Thank you for your gifts. All of you, our amazing gifters, you are wonderful. May God reward you abundantly through Jesus Christ our Lord. Please let us always remember that it is necessary to follow all the gifters as they encourage us in what we are doing. Let us always follow them. Let give them follow back. Let us follow them. And those of you who have not followed me, please do well to follow me as well. Father Chukudu CM or Father Sunday Okolo written together. Then on YouTube, our channel is Holy Trinity Adoration TV. Holy Trinity Adoration TV. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube as well. And may God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, Lucy Olaama EO, send me a message on my DM. I would like to have a chat with you. Thank you very much. May God bless all of you abundantly through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dismiss our hymn. Sacred Savior, at thy feet we pray. Sacred Savior, Sacred Savior, at thy feet we pray. Oh. After Mass, bless, O Lord, our hearts and mind, and grant that as we leave your house, we may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Vincent de Paul. Pray for us. St. Justin de Jacobis. Pray for us. St. Louis de Marillac. Pray for us. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have in, been dictated in activity during your current life. Complete the verification to continue your current life. Oh my God, which one is this one? Father, is there a problem? It's so difficult to let the the screen. So maybe next time, don't use the screen. Ah, okay. okay. Let me let me let me let me flip over now. Let me turn. You know, usually when I come to the back, I do that. Okay. Uh, life discontinued.
Look at these people. Put Coca-Cola on the avocado and you'll never suffer again. To start... Please, I'm coming. God bless you all.